Welcome to the 20 foot by 30 foot Master Series Frame Tent Installation Video by Celina. Prior to installation, call the local utility locating service and have all utilities located and marked. This chart shows the industry standard colors for marking utilities. A tent installer should never use these colors for marking. Always use white paint for tent squaring and layout. Arrange the tent to avoid all utilities at the installation site. Lay out all necessary hardware. Step 1. Lay out the frame parts on the ground in the approximate location that they will be when the frame is assembled. The perimeter parts are laid out to form the perimeter of the tent, and the roof support parts are placed in the interior in their general locations. Step 2. Begin with one of the six-way crowns. Lay the crown on a flat surface to determine the correct placement. When the crown is on a flat surface, the angles that are not touching the ground will correlate with the two corners, point 0.2 and point 0.4. The angles that are touching the ground will correlate with the three side tees, points 1, 3, and 5. The last protrusion, point 0.6, which is horizontal, will correlate with the other six-way crown. Starting at point 1 on the 6-way crown, attach the 14-foot, 4-inch rafter pole to the fitting. There are two holes located in each protrusion of the frame tent fitting. The first hole, which is furthest from the center of the fitting, is for the R-pin that secures the pole in place. The second hole, which is located closest to the center of the fitting, is an alignment hole. Slide the pole on the protrusion until the holes in the pole and the hole furthest from the center on the fitting are aligned properly. Insert a pin in the holes to secure the pole in place. Attach the 10 foot 6 inch hip rafter pole to the 6 way crown at the second point using the same method as above. Working around the 6 way crown, continue to attach the rafter poles at the 3rd and 5th points and the hip rafter pole at the 4th point, securing the poles to the fitting with a pin. Step 3. When the rafter and hip rafter poles are attached to the 6-way crown, attach a 9-foot, 4-inch spreader pole to the 6-way crown at the 6th point. This spreader pole will attach both 6-way crowns together, creating the peak of the tent. Secure the pole to both of the fittings with a pin. Repeat Step 2 with the second 6-way crown. Step 4. Attach the corner fitting to the hip rafters by sliding the pole over the fitting. Line up the holes of the pole with the hole furthest from the center of the fitting and secure with a pin. Repeat this method to attach the side T fittings to the rafter poles. Step 5. The perimeter is now ready for assembly. Connect the side T's to the corners and connect the side T's to the side T's using the 9 foot 4 inch spreader pole. Insert a pin in the hole closest to the center of the fitting which is the alignment hole. Line up the holes in the pole and fitting and secure with a pin. Remove the first pin from the alignment hole. The last spreader pole connected to complete the frame should be located at a corner, not a side T. When all of the spreader poles have been secured in place, the frame will be complete. Step 6. Unfold the drop cloth next to the tent frame assembly. Pull the drop cloth under the tent frame to cover all areas. Always use a drop cloth. Be sure all areas are covered to prevent damage and or dirt from touching the tent top. Place the tent top on the drop cloth and unroll and unfold. 
If a section must be moved or relocated, do not drag it. The section must be picked up and carried to the desired location. Step 7. The tent top is now ready to be placed over the frame. With the tent top closest to the frame, pull the fabric up the frame lifting up as you move. This allows the tent top to ride on a cushion of air. Pull the tent top up and over the peak of the frame. Use extreme caution when pulling the tent fabric over the frame. Watch that the fabric does not get caught on any hardware that would rip or puncture the top. Position the tent top so it is centered on the frame. Attach the corner straps of the tent to the hook on the corner fittings. Step 8. Attach a loop and ratchet strap to all corners and side tees. Wrap the strap around the fitting. Pull the flat end through the loop and tighten around the fitting. These straps will be used to secure the tent with the ratchet buckle assemblies and straps attached to the tent stakes around the perimeter of the tent. At each corner and side tee location are two rings attached to the tent top fabric. Secure the tent top by taking a loop end ratchet strap and pull it through both rings. Pull the flat end through the loop end and tighten to connect both rings together. Step 9. Attach the master style base plates to the legs by sliding the 6 foot, 8 inch leg pole over the longer tube on the base plate and secure with a pin. Step 10. Lifting the tent on one side at a time, use frame tent jacks to tip the entire side of the frame. To increase stability during use, insert two standard stakes in the base of the jack. Position the jack close to a fitting location and place the hook around the perimeter tubing of the frame. Working in unison, turn the handle to raise the frame until the corner legs with base plates can be installed. Position the legs so that the smaller tube on the base plate is facing out. This will allow the D-ring on the ratchet assembly to easily fit onto the base plate hook feature welded on the small tube. Pin the leg to the fitting. Fasten the tent top completely to the frame by tightening the straps inside the tent. Repeat the above method to lift the other side of the frame. Remove the frame tent jacks. When the tent frame assembly is no longer touching the ground, the drop cloth can be removed. Once the corner legs are secured, slide the leg poles over the side tee fittings with the smaller tube facing out and pin the leg to the fitting. Step 11. Now that the frame tent is standing, make sure that all the straps are tight and that the tent top is sitting evenly on the frame. Attach the D-ring straps to the hook assemblies on each base plate. Feed the end of the top straps attached to the tent top through the ratchet buckle and tighten the straps. Roll up excess ratchet strap into the ratchet buckle. Step 12. Each leg or side pole location around the tent requires a minimum of two stakes. One stake for guy lines or tie backs, and one stake to secure the base plate to the ground. Add additional guy lines or tie backs when necessary. Place a tent stake approximately four feet out from each leg. Butting the head of the stake up to this outer edge of the base plate saves measuring and installation time. Drive stakes into the ground vertically until six inches or less of the stake remains exposed. Insert a double head tent stake through the smaller tube on the base plate at each base plate location. Attach the ratchet buckle assemblies to the tent stakes that are placed 4 feet from the legs. Turn the end of the ratchet inside out and pull the strap through the loop to create a noose and pull tight over the stake. Take the top strap attached to the tent top frame and feed the end of the strap through the rear bar slot of the ratchet. Tighten the ratchet until the tent top is tensioned.
roll up excess ratchet strap into the ratchet buckle. The frame tent should now be complete. If sidewalls are desired, clip the sidewall snap hook to the rope line that is attached to the tent top. Slina Tent is an industrial fabric products manufacturer of tents, shelters, canopies, and related accessories. All tents can be custom printed with your corporate logo, brand, or marketing information. For more information or to order online, please visit our website at gettent.com.